All right, I guess I my video editor left the sanding in. I told him we didn't have to leave the sanding in, but he did so good news for you. Um, so here it is, our hood is primed. Now we're just cutting it down wet sanding with 400 grit paper using a block and my hand, right? You wanna use your hand for round areas and then corners, it's, it's really a, a good way to do it, you know, using your hand because you can feel for imperfections and everything else in between. So we're just wetting it down here. We're gonna sand everything down. Um, and once you start seeing it shine, and I always say once it shines like a whale's back or a dolphin's back, um, that's when you know you cut it down and um, it, it's going to come out really nice. You know, once you see that watering glistening off it. So right here I'm using uh, something called Dolphin Glaze, which is a polyester putty. And we're just filling up some little imperfections that we have. Um, around the hood here including some rock chips on the front of the hood here as you see we're just kind of just filling it and then we're gonna wash sand that out with 400 grit get it flat and then we are ready for our painting and base coat so if you have like large huge areas you might want to lay a light coat of primer on top of the glaze but if it's just a small little rock chip like this it's not necessary it will cover with just base coat but again if you want to do like a pro job and you're really anal then you're always going to want to prime over uh, any bare body filler uh, or glaze okay because you always want to paint over um, you know base coat sanded base coat like the white that we have there or sanded primer okay so we're just painting some of the under portion of the hood here not painting sanding so we can give that a coat and as you see how nice it's glossy see that's that means it's going to come out nice okay we're going to wash out inside well let this dry really good and mix our paint all right so we're going to be mixing up our paint now remember this is a tri-stage paint so we basically have our top coat and it'll tell you uh like on this here on this here it'll say Crystal white, tri-coat, variant prime, main layer. So if you see it says main layer, this is your white base coat, okay? If we look here, it'll say tinted clear coat. This is the crystal white uh, top tri-coat, okay? So this goes on top of the base coat. We're not gonna put too much, uh, and we're taking a chance here because I'm not color matching it and blending it in with the fenders. I'm painting the hood literally off of the car. So I'm gonna try as best as I can. Um, I've seen the paint in the sun. I know how it looks. I'm trying to, I'm just gonna match it up by memory. We'll see how it looks. This is not a customer car. It's one of my own beaters that I decided to kind of pimp out for you guys. So you guys can see the process on molding hood scoops and whatnot. So this is our main layer of white base coat here, right? We just had it made. This is Omni Plus. Some paints you can't have made in the regular Omni. So the yellow cans here, that's the cheapest version of Omni that they make. Um, I got the black in that base coat, but it's still good paint. It's cheaper than PPG or DuPont, you know, the, the expensive stuff, but it's still very, very good paint and it will last up. And you can always put the best clears on top of cheaper base coat if you wanna do that. This is like a medium grade from Omni. It's called Omni Plus. They have, uh, it's a better material, better paint material inside and um, it covers better it's kind of like home depot home paint you know if you spend more you get better coverage on some paints and they make more variations in colors you can get a lot more custom colors with the premium brand here like especially the tri coat they don't make tri coat and the regular yellow omni cans here okay so um, i'm going to be using the quick cup system um, and this system you can get a 400 milliliter size it's a smaller version 650 which is this one here and the 850 um, that comes, it comes in like little liners like this. They sell them at Zula.com. So if you wanna check out a partner site called Zula.com, you can get these very easy to mix paint. You know, all you do is just put it in here. You can mix it right in here. Um, and I'm gonna put the adapter. There's two types of adapters that you can also get at Zula.com. Uh, the aluminum version like this or the plastic. I like the plastic, but I can't find mine. I had a couple laying around, I can't find them. I had a friend use my spray gun last week and 
he misplaced it and I, he said he told me he got, I got it back but I don't can't find it anyway I have an extra of the aluminum version so we're gonna go ahead and use the aluminum version and what I like to do is this is basically the adapter that you put on the spray gun I'm using the Atom X 27 low volume low pressure and you just screw it up here so you can hook up the quick cup system because this top cap right basically clips onto it like this all right so what I like to do with the plastic one you don't have to put a uh, plumber's tape on it you don't have to use this because it has a pretty good snug fit with this it's a little loose and I kind of want to have a good fit so I'm going to use uh, some plumber's tape I'm just going to take the end off quickly just you know just maybe one one strand around you know what I mean and you always want to put this stuff on in the direction of tightening your bolt so if you're going to be tightening it this way you want to put it on this way so when you tighten it it's not going to actually come off right you want to kind of go like this and you're like oh well it's kind of going around two times but you're like oh what about this you know covering you just push it down like this okay super easy get it out of the way okay now we can screw this on like that and now it has a nice snug fit and I don't like to tighten these too much because when you want to take them off sometimes it cracks this and you're never supposed to take this how this thread off because this thread is actually glued into the gun at the factory so this never comes out okay if you're gonna clean your gun you just clean it and you take this off this piece off okay and then you clean you could even reach inside like this and clean it if you want to, right? But you never want to take this off. So this is a 19 millimeter. I'm just going to give it a little snug. You guys, you don't have to really over tighten this thing. I mean, just a snug. Okay, that's all I did. Now, when I set up my quick cup system, it should snap on like this, okay? And then you just tighten it. And it's going to give me a good solid fit. All right, so this is actually goes on last. Uh, what we're going to do right now is mix up our paint. I'm using a 1.3 tip. When, any kind of, when you're doing any kind of automotive painting, you want to use a 1.3 or 1.4 tip. I've been spraying at 1.3 lately. Not bad. Um, so we're just going to use this one. Okay, so as far as our paints go, uh, we're going to go ahead and open this can up here. This is our white base coat. Before we take it out, I'm going to give it a quick mix. I just had this made two days ago, so it's pretty much already stirred up. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna make half of it. This is just the white base coat. I'll put six ounces in there. This is gonna be more than enough paint for me. Um, and sometimes, you know, you can't you can't really order less than a half a pint. I just ordered a pint because I wanted some extra white around for other projects. Uh, but I could have ordered a half a pint, would have been perfect for this hood project here. Okay, um, another thing I like to do is actually put some holes in the top here so my paint drains in. You know what I mean? Um, I didn't do that yet, but I could do that in just a bit. Father taught me this trick. So you see how it's building up over here on the edge of the of my lip here it's actually building up in there right so what you do is you just get a dowel and you just put a couple of holes three holes in this in the top of this thing and all the paint that builds up will actually just drain right back into the can it's a really really good trick and i've been using this for years and years and years So now we're gonna be using a medium reducer by Ami, okay? It's about 85 degrees today, nice day. Not too hot, not too cold. So we're gonna be using a 80 uh, medium reducer and with base coat, it's always a one-to-one -one mixture. So if you got six ounces of base paint unreduced, you wanna add six ounces of your reducer, okay? Give or take. So I'm gonna make sure this goes to like the 12 there. Mix it up and I always like to check my consistency 
by checking it drip off my sh my uh, stick here. Let me just mix it up a little bit more and I'll show you what I mean. Yeah, these liners are really cool because cleanup is a breeze. Uh, and Zula, you know, I get these from Zula. It's a 25 kit pack. Comes with 25 liners, 25 filters. There's filters in here. Now remember, if you're shooting any kind of flake, you're gonna wanna cut this filter out, okay? Cause you don't wanna filter your flake. So let's check the consistency of this. One, two, three. That's how usually uh, I like to have my consistency. When it stops, it's actually a little too thick. I can reduce it a little bit more. I like to see one, two, three. One, two, three. Just if you remember that rhythm there, that time. That's actually looking really good. Actually, maybe a little too thick. Yeah, and you don't want your paint too thin because you'll have a hard time covering with coverage. Too thick, you're gonna end up with like a orange peely texture. It's not gonna flow out the way you want. So it has to be just right, okay? Again, a little too thin is not gonna kill you. A little too thick is not gonna kill you, but you wanna be pretty much in the middle. Um, again, I like to have a last visual of my paint consistency like this. That actually looks really good. Okay, so we know we're gonna have good coverage. Okay. So that's pretty much mixed up right now. Now what I'm gonna do is put my cap on, okay, which is my filter and cap, and then I'm gonna screw this on. Okay, that's pretty much ready to rock and roll. All I do now is tip my gun over, push in. Oh, I gotta go in a little bit more and I gotta turn. And that is your quick cup system you are ready to rock and roll and spray base coat. So we're gonna go ahead and shoot the hood really quickly. Our game plan is we're gonna be basically making the middle black, but I'm gonna, I might give the whole thing a white base coat. I'm gonna start on the edges, come in, start on this edge, come in, and I'm gonna touch up some of these things here. Like that, you don't want that showing. So I'm gonna go ahead and cover it anyway, just give it some light base coat. And always on your first coat, you wanna go semi light medium you don't want to load it on because if you have a chemical reaction it's going to be harder to get rid of uh, that's why you go light see how it lays on if it's laying on nice without any uh, fish eyes or any type of patching on the hood then you can go ahead and go a little bit thicker okay so these spots in here these were all little rock chips if you can see that I filled with glaze putty. And normally, okay, normally you would wanna put primer on this. You would wanna put primer on that little bit of body filler there, okay? You'd wanna put primer on this before painting. But I'm gonna show you how we can base it and not even worry about the primer, okay? Now, normally, remember what I said, you should do it, okay? Don't follow what I'm doing here, but know that you can do it. We're gonna get a professional result on this. So what you wanna do, the trick is to dust it very lightly, dust it very lightly, see how it lays on first, and then give it a little bit more coats, little at a time. Because you want it to dry, then you coat it. Dry, coat it, dry, coat it. That's how we get a very good coverage and it will not bleed through on your final paint job. Okay, so let's go ahead, get the gear set up, tack this down, it, we wax and grease removed it. All we have to do now, all we have to do now is tack it down and we're pretty much ready. You can see I got my door open right there. It's not a windy day. I'm not worried about the dust. It's not really dusty. And uh, the shop is cleaned out. I hosed it out yesterday. Okay, the floor is clean. And a lot of this stuff is off the ground. So we don't have to worry about dust. We're painting the top of the car. So not too much worries about dust.
so like I say with all of my videos, you want to make sure you tack rag, you blow off and tack rag your panels before you start painting. So we're just going to tack this thing down and our base coat is mixed. We have our spray gun set up, we have the gun butt on it and you're going to see how everything just lays together. We're going to put a couple of light coats on our primer areas first. You always want to cover your body worked in prime areas first see how it's laying on and then we cover the whole hood all right because the whole hood needs some new white base coat anyway so as you see here I'm just laying it on um, it looks a little too white I think because of the something with the video editor here it just kind of some parts of this video just looking too white with the white balance but um, you get the point it's, it's very hard editing white videos like this because you really can't see anything but white but as we are painting here you can see how it's covering. Uh, the bodywork is looking excellent as you can see. It's molded on very, very nice. And um, there, there was a problem. I'll show you what happened in just a little bit. So there was a step my editor left out. He forgot to put in the tri-coat. So actually after spray painting this thing white, I did go over it with the tri-coat pearl. So that's what I'm laying right now. It doesn't look like it, it just looks white, but that's actually the tri-coat that I'm spraying around the hood area where it's going to stay white. Hey, what's going on? Tony back in the house here. So I screwed up on this job a little bit, but what we have to do is, let me make this darker for you. We have to compromise. Sometimes in life, you gotta compromise. So now that I kind of toned it darker, you can see our primer spot. Okay, and I'm not concerned about that anymore. So here's what happened. I was mixing my paint. This was here. Okay, I was mixing the white base coat, the final last four ounces that I had to make a cup of paint to do more covering because the original idea was to make black from this line, from the scoop line down right like uh, kind of like an angle because the, the front kind of ends up in an angle so I wanted to follow that angle here okay that's what was the plan so I made more I mixed more paint to cover more to get this at least this these sides here white but when I was mixing the paint I put wax and grease remover in it and it totally crinkled up it basically curled right in the cup as soon as i poured it in i thought it was reducer as soon as i put it in it just curled up and the paint was bad i couldn't use it anymore so the white is done i basically was able to squeeze out a few ounces from the can from this can here here i was able to squeeze out a couple of ounces to actually get in here because now the only body line I'm going to follow is this line. So basically the pr the whole middle of the hood is going to be black now. I really don't have a choice. So this edge is going to be white. And I was thinking of that in the beginning kind of maybe you know do that. Um, but I just wanted to go with a little less black. But it's okay. So now all in here it will be black. That's the game plan. So you got to compromise. I was kind of like, like, oh crap, what am I going to do after that happened? But I did the tri-coat. So this sucker here is already tri-coated. I don't know if you can see the color. It's hard to see the white on video like this. All right, but we did the tri-coat on the edges here. Okay, now we're just going to mask with our fine line tape, get the shape, mask up the sides, and then shoot the center black, shoot the rest of the car black. Uh, which is our goal, right? Um, and the gun bud works freaking fantastic. I love it. Um, the lighting is really, really nice. This uh, chip on board light system here, it's fantastic. They did a really good job with the light combination because it, it really shines up the paint directly where you need it. So definitely check out gun bud um, if you don't have one. Pick one up, they're super cheap and they fit on any gun 
uh, gravity feed spray gun top. You can see I put it on my quick cup system will work perfect. And um, you can put it on anything. Fantastic little device there. So let's go ahead and uh, do our fine line tape here and mask it up. It's pretty much dry. It's been sitting for about 20 minutes. Uh, maybe in another five, 10 minutes or so I can start, but it's pretty much ready for a fine line tape. Another thing you wanna make sure, I've just blowed it off actually. You wanna tack it, okay? Cause you wanna get the overspray or whatever is off because if you don't, the tape will not stick. So wherever you're working on, make sure there's no dust that's gonna end up under the fine line tape there. All right, so we could play around and do our graphic however we wanna do this, okay? Now, let's go ahead. We have our quarter inch fine line tape. Let's go ahead and see what we can do as far as the design. Turn the light on. Okay, now when doing graphics and stuff, uh, the best way to get graphics to look good is to pretty much follow the body line. That's what I like to do. So pick a body line where you think will look good. I was actually thinking of doing something like this originally, coming down and have a skinny black, but now we have to go wide because I screwed up, we ran out of base coat, and you can still see the primer shadow in here, right? So there's no way, I can't, I'm not gonna go running out and getting paint right now. So we're just gonna make the line wider and just go black in here okay so that's what we're going to be masking i'm probably going to go i wonder if i should go at on the corner of that and come in so i'll start right in the middle here about give or take okay you want to pull it long I think that's gonna look pretty sick. It's kind of hard. Sometimes you really gotta be able to see the body line. And sometimes too much lighting will throw you off as well. Okay, took a little bit of time, but I think we got it. If we take a look, that center section is gonna be black. This outer edge is gonna be white. I think it's gonna look pretty cool. Okay, so we measured it. Basically eight millimeters from this corner to the, in there. Eight millimeters here, and then six and a half over here from this edge. So we got a perfect spacing on the backs and in the front. And we have that bow, of course, following the body line. 